print email Facebook Twitter more woman avoids jail for biting policewoman, days after promised crackdown on crimes against emergency workers a Melbourne woman who pleaded guilty to biting a policewoman has avoided jail days after the Victorian government announced it would tighten mandatory sentencing laws for people who attack emergency service workers. Craig Eburn woman Iten Alu Soy, 50, has been sentenced to a two-year community corrections order, on top of time already served for a charge of recklessly causing injury and resisting an emergency worker on duty over the 2016 attack. In sentencing, Magistrate Abigail Burchill said a difficult upbringing, undiagnosed bipolar disorder and expert medical opinion that Ms. Alusoy would be extremely vulnerable in prison amounted to substantial and compelling reasons for her to avoid the six-month mandatory sentence. If I sentence, Ms. Alusoy, for a term of imprisonment it is highly likely her mental state will deteriorate, Ms. Burchill said. The court heard acting Sergeant Stephanie Atted suffered a painful bite to her left forearm after turning up to a Dallas address to check on Ms. Ayusoy's welfare on September 27, 2016. Ms. Atted, suffers a continued anxiety of harm that all emergency workers experience, Ms. Burchill told the court, she was just doing her job. We must acknowledge what our emergency workers endure, every shift, she said. Following the incident, Ms. Atted had to live with the fear of infection and three months of injections, made worse by her fear of needles. Earlier this week the Victorian government announced it would tighten mandatory sentencing laws for people who attack emergency service workers following a public outcry when two women avoided prison after being found guilty of assaulting two paramedics. Today, the Director of Public Prosecutions, Kerry Judd QC, announced she would not appeal against the county court decision not to jail the two women after determining the decision was within jurisdiction and is not otherwise amenable to judicial review. Under the government's proposed changes to the legislation, defendants will no longer be able to argue they were alcohol or drug affected to avoid the mandatory six-month minimum jail term. Assaulting police, paramedics, firefighters or prison staff will be classified as a Category 1 offence. The same level as murder and rape, the Law Institute of Victoria has raised concerns the change will reduce judicial discretion in sentencing. It has requested an urgent meeting with the Attorney General to discuss the proposed legislation, which will be introduced to the Victorian Parliament in mid-June. Print email Facebook